this is Praxis and I'm back on site today and today I'm prepping to do some stain work. As you can see in front of me I've got a bunch of random stains. Uh, many of these are old stains that I've had kicking around. You know, I think all of us have like you know random paint can stain cans around our house from earlier projects. I want to use all these up and put them into a big mix and uh, like just make a uniform color. Now uh, I should mention that these are all oil-based stains. I do have water-based stains here too but you can't mix oil and water and I'm just using the oil-based stain. So if you have oil bought and water stains in your house and you want to do something like this you got to choose one or the other to use up because they, you know, they're not going to mix together. Uh, the reason that I'm doing the staining right now, which might seem a little premature, I mean there's still stud walls that haven't been completed, is that Josh has been helping me. He's been doing a lot of putty work and sanding work, getting all this stuff kind of filled, filled, filled in the, the cracks and the scrapes and all that kind of stuff, getting it presentable. And he's getting to the end of that, and I want to try to get him onto something else that's within his skill set. And I think that putting the seal on the walls, uh, we're going to be sealing these walls, uh, Putting wood seal on um, them is going to make them easier to clean, and if like you know something happened to splatter on, it's not going to stain the wall. Uh, but mostly for the benefit of being able to clean it, if you run a, a duster over it, it's not going to snag on the wood, and you can just get the area clean you know much more easily and quickly if there's a wood seal on. Anyway, I want to get him on that, but there's some things I want to color before uh, you know he does any of that. So that's what I'm doing today: is mixing up uh, you know a batch of stain. Uh, I really just wanted to use up all these old ones, but I knew that I didn't have enough just in my old cans, so I bought two uh, gallons that I'm using as kind of like you know the base for it. One is called Golden Oak, it's kind of a tannish yellow color, and one's called Gunstock, uh, it's kind of a reddish brown color, and I chose that one because, you know, America, guns, we love them. Uh, and all these other ones are just random things, there's Ipswich Pine, uh, you know, Red Mahogany, I don't know, I'm not going to read all of them, there's just a bunch of random ones, charcoal is another one that's kind of dark, and we're just going to mix all these together and see what we get. Once I uh, create this, it's going to be used for the floor joists here, the collar ties upstairs, I might, I haven't decided whether I'm going to do the posts, whether I'm going to stain the posts yet, I'm not sure about that, I'm kind of leaning away from it, but I don't know, i, I got to really decide and sort of see how it's all going to work together. But I'm mixing up way more than I need for that, but the idea is, is once I finish up with this, I'm going to take all of this stain and add some more dark colors to it and use it as a different color for the floor to get the floors dark. That'll uh, help to absorb heat from the sun coming through the windows and everything. So this is going to be like in two incarnations of color. Uh, what I've been doing is I shook all of these up and I've been stirring them up and just pouring them in here. And this one here is dark walnut, which is a, a dark color, not surprisingly. I've already got the, uh, the golden oak and the... Uh, gun stock in here. And because these are old, I'm going to make sure I'm getting any of the sediment on the bottom there. All right. And we just pour it right on in. I try to get as much as I can in there. All right. It's kind of an interesting reaction, actually, that I just saw. This dark walnut floated to the surface. I think this is oil-based. Well, if it wasn't oil-based, well, I know the others are oil-based, and if this were water-based, the oil would float to the surface. So, I don't know, I guess just a, a slightly lighter oil I mean, with the mix of the uh, uh, pigments put in or something like that. But that was a little surprising. Anyway, give it a stir. And I've got all the materials I'm going to need around in front of me. Uh, these are for testing the color. So, I mean... I'm kind of just going to use all the, the, the stains that I've got, but at the same time, I don't want it to be horrible. <laughs> so I wanted to kind of see what I'm getting as I go. All right, so this is kind of like a, it's kind of a brown color there. I mean, just a, just a regular brown, not particularly red, not particularly yellow, just kind of a brown. So I'm just going to keep testing it as I go. Got the brush ready to go. I've got a place to put the brush ready to go. And I also have a screwdriver here ready to open up all the cans. So I'm going to go through these and then I guess tomorrow I'll show you how it turned out after I've painted a couple of the collar ties up on the very top. That's it. Thanks for watching.